there Cancer, I'm doing your reading for October the 23rd to November the 6th, your fortnightly reading. I'm using Chakra Oracles to get your energy for October 23rd to November 6th for Cancer. What is the Cancer's energy for October 23rd to November 6th? Ooh, base Chakra. Home. And the crown chakra. Wow, you have two of the main chakras in your energy. Wow, this is your root chakra. Both of them are your base, your root chakra. Wow, number one, number four. And this, your crown chakra. Wow, a lot of insight, intuition going on. Wow, your base chakra. This is your root chakra. This one is home. Your energy is around your home. Shelter, safety, nurturing and warmth. Beautiful card. And your crown chakra. Intuition, heightened. Heightened insight. What you dream. Take a lot of notice, Cancer, of your dreams. Take a lot of notice of your dreams. Okay, what have we got for Cancer? October 23rd to November 6th. Cancer. October 23rd to November 6th. What have we got? The cards are getting messy. October 23rd to November 6th for Cancer. Okay. The lovers. There's choices to be made. King of Swords. Knight of Cups. Ooh, a bit of love action. Six of Wands, Knight of Pentacles, the Chariot, King of Wands, Nine of Swords, Two of Wands. Hmm, interesting reading, Cancer. Very interesting. Creative ideas. You have choices to be made yet. Yeah, yep, yeah, that's what I was thinking with your base chakra here. The lovers, the six of wands, this is a victory and success of some kind. Where the lovers card of choices, whether you end up being the chosen one, Cancer, the king of wands. Mm, someone with a lot of authority, but like a father figure. Not necessarily a man. Someone is helping you. Okay, let's get down next layer. King of Cups. Another king. You have many kings here. Wow. Three of Swords. The Tower. Six of Swords. Queen of Pentacles. Eight of Swords. Ace of Wands. Beautiful new beginnings. Wow, what do we have here? King of Cups and the Lovers. There's choices to be made here. But someone with authority is going to help you out in this situation, Cancer. The choice, I dare say, is between two people. Not, It's not um, a job. As such, this seems to be you're conflicted at the moment. Very conflicted. We have the Three of Swords. As if whatever choice you're going to make, where the lover's card is concerned, something... You, your heart has to heal. It's like you're going to lose something to gain something. You have victory and success over a healing heart. So cancer, you, you seem very conflicted. Whether it's a choice of love interest, queen of pentacles, king of wands. Wow. This really seems to, yeah, go with, what, what I'm feeling, um, yeah, it's a choice of you're, you're very stuck on your life partner decision. It seems like the base chakra, we have, it's because it's the root chakra, um, it has a lot to do with your reproductive organs, this chakra. Um, everything way down, um, our baby making. Uh, we have a queen and a king together with where the lovers are in line. Now, there is victory and success over this situation, but what you're doing here is 
you are losing sleep over this. You have the Nine of Swords and the Eight of Swords. But this is what you're doing to yourself, Cancer, at the moment. You're giving yourself these sleepless nights. You see, with the Eight of Swords, you're doing this to yourself. Even though you're binded up, there is nothing, it's loose. See how loose it is? You could get out of it and you could take that blindfold off. The choice isn't hard. You have, you're looking out for new beginnings here. You are wanting a new beginning, Cancer. And the Ace of Wands actually says exactly that. From the Two of Wands over the Ace of Wands, an Ace is a new beginning. And it's actually going to come in quite fast when it does happen for you. And back here we have, with the Home, we have the Queen of Swords and the King of Swords. Again, um, uh, under the Lovers, it's making me feel very much like a decision to be made over a long-term love partner. Um, like something's going to come to an end for some of you Cancers for the new beginning to happen. But it will happen and it will work out beautifully. The Tower, this shows that some sort of ending is coming. You are going to feel the trauma. You, you already are feeling the trauma of it. When you, the Tower is what's giving you the sleepless nights. But you are actually being very, very admired. You are looked upon as someone with dignity, grace, who has everything. So the... Yeah, really, whoever you're trying to make these choices about, one of them is definitely like, yeah, listen to what you feel in your gut, especially with your crown chakra, your intuition. Justice is there to see the karma come through, to make sure karma of the universe makes this right, your crown chakra, intuition, like I said earlier, what you dream, Cancer, take a lot of note. Now in comes, yeah, this offer of love. Someone is really, perhaps you're being pressured to make a decision. That's where your sleepless nights, your eight and nine of swords are coming from. There seems to be travel, a decision of travel or travel for some of you, Cancer, if this is resonating with any of you, um, some of you are going to be travelling across water. Again, it seems to be a decision that's stressing you. But should I go or shouldn't I? Yes, the chariot of strength is there behind you. Go. Yes, your black and the white. Do I, don't I? Negative, positive. Um, all that back to the crown chakra again, your Listen to your intuition. It's your biggest secret. I'm going to pull a crystal oracle advice card for you, Cancer, for this time period. So concerning around the home matters. The home is the main importance to Cancer at the moment. Definitely the home front. Your shelter, your safety, your nurturing and your warmth. Now, I won't use that one because I just don't feel like that was the one for you. I want the advice card for cancer. The advice card for cancer. Many times I do this and that same card will come out again. And I will use it if it comes out again. Advice for cancer in this time. What should they do? What's going on for cancer? Any card will go this one. We have carnelian. Okay, what's the advice for carnelian? for cancer. Healing, creativity, energy, calmness, grounding, stability. This wonderful crystal offers you protection and healing. It will help dissolve the sadness you have recently experienced as well as calm your thoughts and ease your any anxiety. Carnelian will also help you to express your emotions and stimulate your creativity. You are encouraged to take up a creative pursuit or hobby at this time. Start to express yourself in whatever way you choose without judgment. Working with colour will be especially helpful at the moment for colour can also help to stabilise and heal your emotions. I love that Carnelian. 
Over the coming days, you will begin to feel a renewed sense of peace, joy and wonderment for life. Give thanks for the wondrous blessings you are receiving. And you are, you have Ace of Wands, a wonderful blessing. You are receiving a new beginning of coins. It seems you have to just make a decision. Justice will prevail. The karma of the universe will help make everything come to fruition. So you can heal your heart. You can have that success and that victory and come out with the abundance of the life that you deserve. You fully deserve this cancer. Okay, I hope you enjoyed that reading, October 23rd to November 6th. If this resonates with you, give me a thumbs up or leave a comment to let me know. Um, if you really like, subscribe and that helps me channel into your energy for all future readings. And I hope you watch it again soon, Cancer. Thank you.